Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tricks of the Trade with me, Tom Court. Today, I'm going right back to the foundations of your first trick in kiteboarding. This is an incredibly simple skill development based trick and really just a warm up trick that you should do a few of these before you do anything in every session because it just gets you in sync with your board, your pop timing, your heel edge pressure, your, your, the way your legs move, and also your upper body swing. So this is how to pop on a kiteboard. Okay, so let's get into it. This example clip isn't necessarily how to pop every time, but this is a really good exercise in popping, which shows you how the board and body pressure and upper body and lower body, as well as the heel pressure dynamic, should work within your pop. As you're coming in, like with any trick, I always say come in with speed because it does make a big difference. Speed and pop are tied together in so much that the faster you go and the more efficiently you convert your speed into your upwind cut and your pop, the higher you can pop off the water. Now it's important to remember this is a pop exercise, not how you pop with every trick. Riding along, both hands on the bar here with this. Nice and fast, kite at 11 o'clock, confident riding position with speed over the water. As you can see here, I am engaging that heel edge with my upper body weight lent right back against the pull of the kite, feeling the pressure through that harness hook. As remember, when you're hooked in, all your control over your kite is coming through your harness hook. So unless your upper body is leaning back against the kite, you won't be able to build up the tension that you require for a decent pop trick. And as you can see here, the heel, heel pressure is important, but the most important thing is the scoop. And the radius of the scoop, depending on which board you're riding, but getting that scoop right. If you scoop too much, you will slip your rail, which will cause an uncontrolled takeoff, often loss of control on the takeoff, which will eventually end up in a crash. If you don't scoop enough, you won't build that tension up in that harness line and you really won't get the efficient pop height that you're looking for. So that's what this little trick is really sort of good for, is finding that scoop radius that works for you. You can see how my heel edge is digging deep into that water, maintaining that heel pressure right until the last minute before the takeoff. You can see here, I go from leaning my upper body weight completely back against the kite, then sending my legs backwards of my upper body. What happens is the leg momentum overtakes your body momentum so that you can continue building tension in those lines all the way through your pop. As you can see I'm going into a shifty in this and pay attention to the lower body dynamic and the upper body dynamic. As my back leg is sent out behind me, my back arm is coming forward in front of me which is creating a tension through my body so that because my back leg is shifted out behind me, I obviously want to bring that board back in to a straight riding position for landing. In order to do that, I have to counteract the motion of the board with my upper body before it happens. So look, you can see here my, that my arm is lent right across my body because my back leg is shifted out so much. Still keeping that tension through that harness hook, as you can see there. And then just the fact that I've done that with my upper body is then bringing my legs back down into the correct landing position, making sure that I land downwind with a little bit of rail engaged, but not too much. My center of balance correct into that riding position. And then once I've stuck the landing, I then harden up, back up into the wind, back up into the regular riding position in order to keep the tension on the lines. So the key with this trick and the key with pop in general is all to do with playing with your line tension 
balancing that between your upper body weight your, and your heel pressure and getting the timing right for your takeoff. I'm not doing anything with the kite during this little pop trick, but it's just a question of getting the timing between your heel edge pressure and your upper body weight and the confidence that you need to be riding with enough speed in order to generate the correct level of pop. So that is how you pop on a kite board. Let me know what you thought of this video below. Comment if you've got any questions. Check the link in the description to get any of my merch. Stomp it and ride away.